everyone. So I've got a kind of first impressions video with some Clinique products that was very kindly sent and I've got a kind of big selection of products that I want to talk to you about and just tell you my first impressions of them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an update video after I have used some of these um, for a little bit longer because some of these are skincare products and that kind of thing so I can give you a real full review. But this is my kind of initial thoughts and first impressions of these products. So the first products I'm going to talk to you about are indeed the skincare products. And I've got the Clinique Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector and the um, Even Better Skin Tone Correcting Lotion with SPF 20. Those of you who've watched my videos for a while know I suffer from pigmentation very badly on my cheeks and my nose. And these are targeted at just that. They've got very, very interesting reviews. Some people rave about them, some people really didn't get on with them. This is kind of like a serum, the Dark Spot Corrector. I've used this a couple of days. I really like the texture. It's kind of unscented, very kind of no frills attached, but that, I think that's what you expect with Clinique skincare. And I really liked, as I said, the texture. When I woke up in the morning, my skin did look kind of quite smooth and even, but obviously with one application, it's not gonna remove your pigmentation. So this is a product that really does need to kind of stand the test of time to see um, if I do genuinely like it or not. Then the correcting lotion, this is nice for summer, it's got SPF 20, and this has got a kind of slightly different texture because it's more of a cream, I'll show you quickly. It's just a light cream, you can rub it in, it doesn't, um, leave too much of kind of residue on the skin and it's something that I will use to just help fade those marks again in the daytime and that kind of thing. It works nicely under makeup but as I said with skincare you can't kind of give an initial impression until you've properly properly used the product. Then the second product that I've got here is the foundation and this is the Even Better Makeup SPF 15. I'm wearing this on my skin today. I used it kind of with my hands and I really like the finish of it. It's a makeup um, that I've heard a lot about uh, Tanya Burr in her old videos used to always talk about this and I have wanted to try it for a while so I'm really excited about using this. I've got it in the shade number six which is Honey. It's kind of like a slightly more summery shade for me. I have got fake tan on now but I could do with kind of being a little bit more tan for this to be perfect but it's totally wearable and I can work with it kind of thing. I find that with most foundations I can kind of work with them. I really like it. It's a kind of nice medium coverage, medium finish, not too dewy, not too matte, just very 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 pretty and natural looking and as I said I'm wearing it now with um, I just applied it with my hands I did use it with a brush as well but I'll kind of play with it a little bit more and then do a kind of more in-depth review then I've got four blushes and these are absolutely beautiful and these are the cheek pop blush pops so I've got them in a couple of shades here and this is what the packaging looks like. The packaging of all of these products is just absolutely beautiful. But I'll show you kind of each shade and tell you what I think of it. This one right here is um, Berry Pop. I wore this over the weekend and I really like it. The design is just beautiful. They're a kind of strange um, blush in that I haven't made my mind up about them yet. They're not super pigmented but they're not sheer either. They're kind of like a nice hybrid in between formula. So that's Berry Pop. Then I've got um, Ginger Pop, and Ginger Pop is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today, I don't know how well you can see, but Ginger Pop is just this kind of slightly darker, peachy, more muted shade, really pretty. Then I've got, um, what's this one called, Peach Pop, this one's beautiful, it's a lovely kind of spring peachy colour, really, really lovely, it'll be really lovely in the summer as well with a tan and it just gives you that kind of nice pop of peach on the cheeks and I'm quite into the kind of matching your cheeks and lip um, thing so if you're wearing a nice peachy lip then something like that would look beautiful with it and then last but not least this is um, Plum Pop I think, where's the name, yeah Plum Pop and this is just kind of like a kind of deeper pinky shade again very pretty more of a wintry shade though so that's all the blushes and I do really like the packaging as I said that's kind of my first impression that's totally won me over the packaging is gorgeous and then I have got a mascara and I have used a couple of clinic mascaras in the past but this is a relatively new one, it's the Lash Power, and they describe it as a feathering mascara, which is a very interesting way of describing it because that's what it is, it's a very natural mascara. If I come a little bit closer, I'm wearing up my lashes today, and it's just a very pretty natural finish. It's not too um, volumizing or anything like that, it's just a kind of nice 
pretty mascara. The brush looks like this. It's just kind of a fat bristly brush. With mascaras, I usually don't like them at first. I need them to dry out a little, and this is definitely quite wet, so I do need it to dry out a little before I can make up my mind, but um, I haven't been wowed by this on first application, but that's not really to say anything about it because I usually don't like any mascara when I first use it. I need them to dry down a bit. And then I've got one of the Chubby Stick Intense in Roomiest Rose, which, which is a beautiful name. And this is one of the just intense versions of their Chubby Sticks. This is what the shade looks like. I'll swatch it here for you. It's just the kind of deep rosy colour, more of a um, wintery colour, kind of autumn winter as well, because obviously you're kind of wearing more brights and that kind of thing during the summer. And then I've got one of the classic um, Chubby Sticks in Whole Lot of Honey whole lot of honey and that is this kind of more natural shade and I'll swatch it right here for you this is just a kind of pretty bronzy your lips but better type of color very very pretty and more appropriate for this time of year but that is everything that's kind of my little mini first impressions video and what I've got and then in a few months time maybe when I've used the skincare for a little bit longer or a few weeks I'll see how I get on I will do a update video so let me know if you've tried any of these products and what I have to look forward to and what I can expect from them and yeah don't forget to give the video a big big thumbs up if you liked it and if you want more of these types of videos let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time.